Something unusual is being proposed for the moon. Not a new rocket, but a giant net. Floating silently on the lunar surface, it wouldn't land. It would catch. Instead of relying on thrusters or fuel, this system proposes a different kind of precision. One that uses mechanical force, not combustion. No flames, no blown up dust, no craters from hard landings. Behind this idea is a Greece-based entrepreneur who's challenging long-held assumptions about how we interact with the lunar surface. His approach could reshape how we deliver tools, machines, and even building modules to the moon in the near future. It's simple, silent, and entirely unlike traditional landers. Yet it might be exactly what lunar logistics needs. In this episode, we'll unpack what this idea actually looks like, how it works, and why it could shift the direction of lunar exploration away from high energy descent and towards smarter, softer arrivals. The project involves two systems that work together, Macedonus and Oplonus. Both are designed to make lunar delivery safer, cleaner, and far less dependent on traditional landers. Macedonus, short for Momentum Absorption Catcher for express deliveries on non-atmospheric Samata, acts like a mechanical catcher's mitt. It's a large net suspended on tension supports. When a package is dropped from lunar orbit, Macedonus captures it mid-fall and slows it using a deceleration system that disperses the force without triggering a rocket burn. The process is passive and controlled, absorbing the energy like a spring-loaded trap rather than using propulsion. By avoiding fuel use entirely, the system doesn't disturb the moon's surface. This is significant because lunar regolith the ultra-fine abrasive dust coating the surface is notorious for damaging equipment. With no thrust involved, the cargo arrives cleanly without throwing dust into the air. The second component, OPLONAS, short for Oversized Payload Lander on Non-Atmospheric Sameda, it's a large flexible wire wheel with a sealed cylinder in the center. It's launched from orbit in a compact package, then spins itself open using stored energy. This rolling approach allows Oplonus to conform to rough terrain, reducing the risk of a hard landing. The inner cylinder holds the cargo. After touching down, Oplonus can travel across the surface using a built-in motor to reach its destination, effectively acting as a slow delivery rover. The components are designed with reuse in mind. The wheel's wireframe could be recycled to build future Macedonus units. The central module could even serve as the base structure for a lunar habitat or outpost. Together, these systems offer an alternative to traditional descent vehicles, one based on physical absorption of momentum rather than brute force deceleration. What makes these systems interesting isn't just their novelty, it's that they respond directly to the real physics of the Moon. The Moon's environment is quite different from Earth's, it has no atmosphere to slow down falling objects and only one-sixth of Earth's gravity. That means cargo from orbit accelerates rapidly, but it doesn't take much to slow it down. It's an environment where purely mechanical systems can thrive. Macedonus takes advantage of this. It works by converting vertical motion into gradual resistance. Package hits the net, the tensioned cords stretch to absorb the impact. The decelerator then brings the object to a controlled stop. There's no fuel, no onboard navigation system, just precise release timing and smart mechanical design. The real benefit is what the system avoids. Rocket-powered landings require precise engine burns, fuel reserves, and complex electronics. They also risk stirring up regolith, which can cling to instruments, jam mechanisms, and degrade materials. With a passive system like Macedonus, these issues are greatly reduced, Aplonas 2 is designed for the moon's specific needs. The rolling wheel absorbs landing forces not with hydraulic legs or dampers, but with its own flexibility. It spreads out its weight across the terrain, reducing pressure on any one point. This approach also helps navigate uneven or rocky areas, where a rigid lander might tip or fail. There's another layer of efficiency here. Mechanical systems tend to be more durable and easier to maintain than high-precision propulsion units. They're also less likely to fail catastrophically. If a spring malfunctions, the system might underperform, but it won't explode. This emphasis on simplicity ties into a broader shift in space logistics. 
Agencies like NASA and companies like ISPACE are increasingly focused on modular, adaptable architecture. Designs that can be reused, recombined, or repurposed. That's exactly what a Plonas and Macedonas offer. They're not one-shot devices. The spinning wheel used to land a Plonas can later be disassembled and used to construct support structures. The central module can be reoriented into a pressurized volume for shelter or equipment storage. All of this reduces launch mass. Instead of shipping separate structures for landing, habitation, and transport, one system can serve all three roles with minimal modification. The design fits the moon, not just because it avoids problems, but because it adapts to them. If these systems prove functional, they could form a logistical foundation for broader lunar development. As missions move beyond science and into industry, particularly mining and construction, delivery systems like these become essential. Lunar mining efforts, for example, will require transporting heavy and delicate equipment to specific locations. Traditional landers can do this, but they're limited by cost, complexity, and terrain requirements. A modular wheel lander that can roll to its destination and a net-based system that catches without kicking up debris could serve these missions more reliably. Macedonas also allows for high-frequency deliveries without degradation of the surrounding site. That's a major consideration for long-term bases, where repeated landings could otherwise create hazardous conditions due to regolith contamination. The potential applications extend beyond mining. If a Plonus modules can be repurposed as temporary shelters or structural components, that reduces the need to launch additional materials from Earth. In a lunar construction setting, reused delivery units could form the skeletal structure of roads, walls, or even storage units. Karis Cosmos, the mind behind these designs, believes these systems would allow lunar operations to scale faster. He envisions orbiters dropping packages that get caught by surface nets and then rolled to their end use points. This kind of low energy, high efficiency model may be more realistic than trying to recreate Earth-style infrastructure in a harsh gravity light environment. However, there are hurdles. Macedonas would require extremely precise release coordination. A package dropped even slightly off target might miss the net entirely. Real-time tracking and adjustment systems would need to be highly reliable. There's also the issue of mechanical fatigue. The tension systems in Macedonas must survive many impacts and remain functional. Materials will need to withstand the moon's temperature swings, micrometeorite impacts, and long lunar nights. For Aplonus, navigation is another challenge. Rolling a large object across unknown terrain isn't trivial. Remote guidance, autonomous terrain recognition, or even pre-laid paths might be required. Still, none of these issues are unsolvable. Many are already being addressed by current lunar rover programs. And if Cosmos can secure backing from agencies like NASA or DARPA, as he's reportedly working to do, the next step could be a prototype test on the moon. Whether or not this exact system becomes standard, the core idea using passive mechanics and modular design to lower cost and increase resilience could have a lasting impact on how we build in space. It's still early, there's a lot to prove, but the potential here isn't just about engineering, it's about rethinking how we approach space itself. And on the moon, where everything is harder, simpler might just be the future. See you next time.